Hello and welcome to another type help video. This video is a tutorial about how to make your own text adventure game using the type help engine. Um, and one thing that, so I'm here on the type help um, game, which is once again emulated by Ruffle. I uh, recommend you guys check out Ruffle and if you have the means, contribute to the project. Um, either monetarily or by finding bugs or joining their Discord. Um, if you're a Flash developer, you can kind of follow along and see how um, emulation of Flash is going um, in the Ruffle project. As of now, it is, does really good at emulating um, ActionScript 1 and 2, and they have ActionScript 3 under development. So let's get into the game. Um, and here we're pretty much going to ignore what's already in the game, and we're going to start up a new uh, game file. And this tutorial will show you how to create the new file, add some content to the new file, um, save the new file to the local storage, and then submit that local storage file file to me for review um, and potential inclusion in the engine itself. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention before getting started is it's a good idea to put some pencil to paper and kind of sketch out um, the different rooms and items and world items and maybe even some of the text that you want to write before you get going um, with this. This is an example of what I've done for the, the game that we're going to create here. And uh, just as kind of a preview, um, I've been, I read this article recently about Neil deGrasse Tyson wanting to go ice fishing on Europa, which is one of Jupiter's moons. Um, and it's encased in ice. And uh, I guess the, the Voyager uh, uh, probe that went by there um, found some signs of liquid water um, underneath of the a thick ice layer and so Neil deGrasse Tyson was talking about wanting to go ice fishing there and um, the fact that there's liquid water um, means that there's a big potential for life and so I thought it'd be cool to have a text adventure game where you're ice fishing on Europa and so that's going to be the title ice fishing on Europa and I wrote up some I just did a bit of research on what Europa is it's one of uh, the moons of Jupiter it's smaller than Earth's moon. Um, it potentially has more water than all the Earth's oceans combined. Um, Galileo first discovered it in 1610, and then Voyager flew by it and got the readings for liquid water. And it, it potentially has thermal vents down near its center, which would make the water kind of warmer there, and that's why it's got liquid water. Um, and NASA has actually re-upped a project to send... Um, kind of a rover to Europa and it'll be called the Europa Clipper and so I thought this would be kind of cool to make a game where you play as the uh, the Europa Clipper and um, you're kind of and the style of the game it would be like kind of a, a, a robotic interface of commands um, telling you what's going on and then also the commands that you put into the system um, as if you're like an artificial intelligence controlling this thing because it would be so far away it wouldn't really be uh, feasible I think to control it with uh, like radio communication there'd have to be some kind of automated um, AI I think to have this thing work properly so that's kind of the idea is that you're the AI <laughs> the player is the AI playing this game um, and you're gonna start out in a, a landing crate and then you're gonna go to an ice field um, there's going to be some ground, and then you're going to be able to use some tools to heat the ground, um, dig a hole, and then um, uh, put a, uh, a lure down into the hole. Um, and uh, I thought it would be funny to have some bait on the lure. Um, so there will be some bacon, because, you know, what else would aliens love more than bacon? It's most likely to get an alien response. So you put some bacon on your lure, you'll put it into the ice hole, and then there will be kind of a cliffhanger ending I think. So going back to type help, um, we're going to be using all CMD commands and if you want to view all the CMD commands you can do CMD help and that gives you a list of everything you can possibly do and I'm going to run you through um, what you need to do to create a new game. So CMD local new is the first command. Are you sure you want to create a totally new game file? Any unsaved data will be lost forever. Type yes to confirm. You now have a clean game slate, a whole new world. We've auto-created a default room so nothing breaks. 
type cmd help to view all the commands at your fingertips. Okay, so if we do cmd um, list rooms, you'll see we have this new room that's uh, been created. That's all that's in the game. There are no W items, there are no retrievable items, there are no actions, there's just this room. And so if you go cmd view room zero, it'll show us default attached rooms is empty, name is new room description, new room description goes here. Default world items is none, default retrievable items is none. So this is as pretty blank a slate as you can get. So we need to edit this, so we're going to do cmd edit um, 2, which is the room name, and we're going to rename this to landing crate. Hit enter. Are you sure? Oops. Room name must be one word only. Oh no. Um, cmd edit 2. Okay, so I guess we're just going to call it crate. Yes. Um, so this is the landing crate. The description we need to edit. So CMD edit three, the description of this room. And the description is going to be kind of the introduction to this game. And the style that I'm um, making this game in is kind of like a computer systems readout. So it's going to be like uh, system loaded dot dot dot. Um, uh, designation. Clipper, dot, 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 type, AI probe, dot, 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 manufacturer, NASA, sla slash, oh, what? Uh, it won't let me type a slash. NASA, will this let me type a slash? No, it won't. NASA, I'll just use an and, and Tesla. <laughs> if I figure Tesla is going to be involved in this some, somehow, some way. Um, and then we'll do just like uh, sensors activated. And then um, autonomous algorithm engaged so that's you and me and system loaded designation clipper type AI probe manufacturer NASA and Tesla sensors activated autonomous algorithm engaged all right and yes I'll confirm that that's what I want so now when this game loads it will automatically run the look command when it first loads up and so this is what the player will see. System loaded, designation clipper, type AI probe, manufacturer NASA and Tesla, sensors activated, autonomous algorithm engaged. So now what we need to do, now that we've got our, our first room um, kind of skeleton laid out there, we need to start adding some world items and um, retrievable items. So I'm going to have a tool, uh, a set of tools in here that you are required to equip on your probe before you are able to push the button uh, to open the door. So we need to add um, the button. So CMD um, add W item. So it's a world item, it's a button that's affixed to the wall and so you can't pick it up and that's why it's going to be a world item or a W item. So adding game object of type W item, step one of two, type world item name, word or words. Um, so the world item name is going to be the um, hatch or um, hatch button description uh, releases landing crate egress hatch. So here we have our first world item, it's world item ID 0, and it may be helpful for you to kind of write down these world items. You can always look them up, but sometimes um, if you um, are in the middle of something, it's easier to just to have the, the, the item written down. So I just wrote down on my piece of paper next to me, hatch is item 0, uh, w item 0. 
And now I'm going to give it an alias, so CMD edit to. Um, it's always a good idea to give aliases to stuff because it's easier for people to refer to things like that um, with their shorter names rather than having to type out hatch button. They can just type out button instead of hatch button. It's generally a good idea also to keep your names to two words. Um, uh, otherwise, there can be combinations that people try to type in that may not work. Um, releases landing create egress hatch hidden is no um, and so now this world item exists but it's not attached to a room so let's go CMD view room 0 and we need to edit CMD edit 4 which is world items and we need to add 0 to that we'll confirm that and so now if we look um, you see hatch button it is now in this room when the game first loads so the other things we need to add are actually retrievable items because they'll go into your inventory. And I want to add a nuclear heater, a laser drill, some bacon, and a lure. Uh, lure will be like a fishing rod that they can that the machine will put down into the ice hole. Um, so I'm going to do CMD add item. First item I want to add is the nuclear heater. Um, and this will be uh, fusion powered ice heater that's it, that's the name um, and cmd edit 2 to give it a different alias just call it heater as its alias so nuclear heater, alias is heater, fusion powered inventory description Get message is an extra, it, the game will automatically say you get the whatever, um, but if you want to have something custom on top of that, um, you can provide a, this fifth property here. I'm just going to leave it blank. Um, uh, that's another thing I would recommend is don't get too crazy with your first game. Um, keep it, the scope kind of small um, because it'll be, uh, these things tend to, as you start adding more and more stuff into it, even if you've started out with a small idea it tends to kind of bloat up. So like this one, I'm going to have two rooms basically and just a few items and you'll see how many actions and things we end up adding to this just to make um, make it an experience that is kind of fun to play. Um, so now we've got that item. I'm going to do CMD add item again. Um, this one's called laser drill. Um, uh, Lockheed Martin carbide tipped laser drill. <laughs> uh, whatever all that means. Lockheed Martin is like an airplane company. Uh, they probably don't make carbide tipped laser drills, but it sounds cool. Um, let's see. Uh, let's change its alias. CMD edit two and just call it drill for short. Yes, so now I've got laser drill, drill, Lockheed Martin carbide tip laser drill. Inventory description is if you want to have a different description than uh, number three, when a person has picked the item up and looks at it, um, you can have a, an alternate description that shows up when they're actually holding the item if you want to give more detail or whatever. Uh, I don't think I need that in this case, so moving on, CMD add item. Bacon, um, the meat from the belly of a, I don't know what the uh, uh, technical name is for a pig, <laughs> pork, porcine, por porculus maximus, <laughs> I don't know, the meat from the belly of a pig, we'll stick with that. Um, it uh, doesn't need an alias, and that should be good. And then we can CMD add um, lure. You can see how kind of having a list of stuff already written down will um, make this process go faster. So you can kind of do division of labor. You can add all your W items, add all your regular items, add your rooms, uh, and then you can start linking everything together. Um, lure. Oops. CMD add item. Sorry. And then you give it the name, lure, um, uh, 
So what it, how should we describe this lure? I should have written this down so I don't waste time thinking on this video. Um, uh, fishing lure that extends up to 250 feet of depth. I don't think we need an alias because it's only one word um, and so we're good to go. So now we need to let's do it go ahead and CMD list items and we'll see what we got. Zero is our um, heater. I'm writing these down. Heater is zero. Drill is one. Bacon is two and lure is three. Okay, so now I can go CMD view room zero. And you can see number five is default retrievable items, so CMD edit five. And we're gonna add zero, one, two, and three. Say yes, and then if we look, system loaded, designation clipper, AI probe, NASA and Tesla, sensors activated, autonomous algorithm engaged. You see nuclear heater, laser drill, bacon lure, hatch button. So those are all the things that you can see. Um, and if you look at the heater, for example, fusion powered ice heater, there you go. Um, so we're, we're off and running with our first room. All the items that we need in our first room are there. Um, I think we should go ahead and create the other room while we're at it uh, because we're going to need to attach that room via some actions. So CMD add room. The room name is ice. Uh, let's just call it field. Um, uh, so the description of this a frozen field of ice, ice thickness measures at three meters. There we go. So default attached rooms. Um, you probably won't need to go back into the crate once you're out of it, so I'm not going to attach the crate back to this room. Uh, once you get here, you'll be basically stuck here. Um, name field, description, default world items, we'll get into that. Um, it probably doesn't, oh, the ground is going to be one thing here. Default retrievable items, none. So we'll just leave this as a placeholder for now and go back and look here. So right now, it's we're not going to start out with that room attached because they're going to need to push the hatch button um, to open the hatch. Um, and that will open up the access to um, the field room via the action that we input here. So the first thing we want to do is um, we're going to need to put in an action for um, uh, pushing the hatch button. So. Let's do CMD add action. And this action will be push. The, this is a list of uh, verbs that can activate this action. So push, press. What else would you do to a button? Um, push, press, depress. Um, hit. Um, click. Touch. Um, maybe activate. Uh, that's probably good. So that's a list of verbs that will be used to activate this action. And then the message that will come back to the user um, will be uh, what we type in now. So I'm going to put in an action that is a kind of a catch-all for if they have not gotten the um, if they haven't picked up the stuff, all the tools that are in the, the crate with them. So that action is going to be, um, it's going to say error, um, equip 
all required mission tools before exiting crate. So what is what else is required here? Um, so the action is the this construct is the most complicated. That's why there are 19 different uh, properties of an action, um, because this is kind of the core of um, moving around and editing, um, making stuff happen in the world. So we've got our verbs. We don't need any magic words. Um, required inventory IDs. Um, we're not going to so none there, but we do need a required world item because it, you don't want this to to activate um, if you type push press, depress, hit, click, touch, activate anywhere else besides this specific room. And so the, the one world ID that we have is the hatch. Um, I guess, did we never add a button? Oh, no, the, the hatch button is um, world item zero. Yeah, so um, I got, so to get back there, I go to CMD view action zero. And so we need to edit CMD, edit uh, required world ID is going to be four. By the way, this video might be a pretty long, so no problem if you have to put me in double speed or <laughs> put it on pause and come back later. Um, it takes a little bit um, to get all this stuff hooked up, but um, once the core structure is there, it should start going faster. So required world IDs, um, we know we want to have zero in there so that will make it so you have to be in a room that has the hatch button uh, for this command to register uh, result message direct object world um, so yeah the direct object world is if you try to push press to press hit click touch activate and then you have the you your words reference this hatch button um, so we need to add that direct object world here so cmd edit six um, We'll add zero there, yes. So now um, the hatch button is the direct object of the, the verbs that we're using. Um, so if you do that, it's going to give us this message. Um, and so let's test that. So if we look and then we say push button error equip all required mission tools before exiting crate okay so that's working so now let's put in the um, the uh, other action which will actually open this door and move us uh, well it'll open the door and then attack open up the the field for us to go to um, so let's do CMD add action and then again it's gonna be push touch hit press, click, I don't remember all the, <laughs> the verbs that we had before, activate, um, push, press, that's another one, okay, and then uh, the result is going to be um, robotic digit extended button depressed crate door is ajar so again the required inventory or the required world ID we need to add CMD edit 4 and that's going to be 0 yes so then the hatch is required, That's and then it's also going to be the direct object, CMD edit 6, direct object world is also going to be 0, yes. Um, and so, but we also have to have required inventory items here um, for this particular action. So we need to add the heater, drill, bacon, and lure to the required inventory items. So they cannot get this action to activate unless they have those items. So CMD edit which is the required inventory IDs and it's going to be 0, 1, 
two, three. Glad I wrote those down. Yes, and so now you can see the required inventory IDs. It shows the lure, the bacon, the laser drill, and the nuclear heater. So the last thing we want to do is, um, uh, let's see, result new rooms. Yeah, result new rooms is what we want to edit. So CMD edit 17. Um, so I'm going to read this um, because I don't remember exactly how this works when I wrote this code. Editing action one, property 17, result new rooms, assign available room values to rooms when this action is complete. Current value is nothing. Required format, list of lists using and to separate lists, no spaces. So target room ID, comma, new room ID, new room ID, dot, 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 and target room ID. So we only need one of these. Um, so our target room ID is zero, and we want to add room one to it. So this will make room one available to room zero as a go command. Um, and that should do it. If you wanted, if you were doing something like you push a button in a temple and it unlocks like 10 doors in 10 different rooms, you could do that here using and to separate out. Then like in room one, you could add room two and then and like that. And in room to room three, you could add room two. And so it, depending on how you want to interlock all those different rooms. So I'm just going to do um, add room one to room zero, just as a little simple thing here. Uh, provided rooms must exist, create new rooms or use existing room IDs when editing result in new rooms. Uh, that's not right. List rooms. Huh. I think this might be broken. View action. One, action zero. No, it's action one. Um, result new rooms. CMD edit 17. Target room ID is zero. New room is one. Huh, this is broken. Um, I will come back once I have fixed this. And we're back. You can see that I've incremented the version number after fixing this bug. Hopefully it's fixed. We're going to see right now. Um, one thing I did um, in between the last session and this session is I saved um, the current state of the, the game we were working on um, to the local storage. So now I can do CMD local list and you can see I've got slot one with the, the in progress game we were working on. So now I can do CMD play or local play one and yes. And then we get back to system loaded designation clipper type AI probe manufacturer NAS and Tesla, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then we can go back to CMD view action Oops. one. Um, so action one, and then I think we were editing um, result new room. So CMD edit 17, and then we're going to attach to zero room one. And now it's allowing us to do that. And so now we can um, look and you can see that room one is not available currently. If we try to push a button, um, all required mission tools, uh, equip all mission tools. So look, so now let's get heater, get drill, get bacon, get lure. So now in my inventory, I've got all those items. So now if I do push button, oh, it's still giving me that error. Hmm. So maybe what I should, uh, this is what I'll do to, to get around that, is I will require for, um, I'll, have a, I'll have a W item that's a closed hatch, and then I'll have a W item that's an open hatch, and we'll swap those out when the actions happen. Um, so that what's happening now is uh, the two actions are are competing with each other because the conditions are being the conditions aren't specific enough uh, between the two actions. So I'll do CMD add W item and we'll do closed hatch 
and then the description um, the closed hatch prevents your egress um, alias cmd edit 2 and that's going to be hatch yes um, so now we do cmd add w item and this is going to be open hatch and it's going to be description the opened hatch allows your egress and it's uh, alias cmd edit 2 is going to be hatch also these will never be in the same room at the same time so having the same alias won't conflict between them because when we push the button we're going to swap out the closed hatch with the open hatch so now if we uh, will want to do cmd view room zero and then we're going to um, cmd edit four which is the default world items and i guess we the closed hatch is going to be id one so we need to change this to zero and one we want to keep the previous value so we don't lose the button but then we want to add on one to that so we have the close the closed hatch in there at the same time yes so now if we look at our room there's the closed hatch and the hatch button we've already picked up all our items and so this is another uh, this is an opportunity to learn about cmd reset um, are you sure you want to restart this game from the very beginning current progress will be lost yes so now we this is as if we just loaded the game fresh so now we've got all of our tools in there the hatch button and the closed hatch uh, you'll probably want to do that every once in a while um, because on the fly as you edit stuff you might get into a, a state a game state that isn't really allowed um, and so if you just reset the the game you can start over from the beginning with everything all the actions you've taken cleared out let's see so um, cmd view action zero so for this one we want to add a required world item cmd edit four i will keep zero but now we also want to have one available yes and then cm and then if you just push over on your on your arrow keys you go to the next action and this one we're going to edit cmd edit four um, and we want to keep the hatch button being required but also add two which is our open hatch so we'll we'll only be able to open that door um, and activate this action when we've swapped out the uh, actually is that gonna work let me think through this for a second um, hmm how can we do this so you push the button and it flips over well I'll flip that over mm, let me think about this for a second and then I'll come back all right I am back and I actually have figured out I think how to do this and so let me load the game back up and I realized that you know what I do not need to force them to have all the stuff they need before they go out of the crate all I, I can just leave the pathway between the two rooms available um, so if they're like if they do end up it's very unlikely they're gonna leave this room without picking up everything they can but if they do they can always go back in this room pick up what they missed and take it back out to the field so um, CMD list actions um, so I can actually get rid of this uh, error one um, CMD delete um, action zero I'm sure you want to delete this is a good example to show you how you delete something I'm sure you want to delete the game object yes so now if I do CMD list actions um, you'll notice that this action kept its ID number that's just because if you have already written code um, that's referencing this ID number it needs to maintain that ID number so that um, so it's maintained its one rather than becoming the a zero um, that's just a bit of behind the scenes information so 
Anyway, back to look at this room. Nuclear heater, laser drill. I need to look at um, action one again. Um, push, touch, hit, press, click, activate, press. Magic words, none. Um, required inventory IDs. We can actually get rid of those. Um, required inventory IDs. Open hatch. We definitely need to get rid of open hatch. CMD edit four, and this needs to just become zero. Yes. Um, required world items, robot digit extended, hatch button, um, add W item to room, open hatch, um, remove the closed hatch. Um, I think that's fine. And then we're adding the, the new room ID, that's still good. Um, let's see how that works. So look, um, let's, um, you can't go anywhere because there's no go options, go field, shouldn't do anything. You don't see a field there you get to go to. Look, um, system loaded, designation clipper, AI probe, manufacturing NASA and Tesla, nuclear heater, closed hatch, uh, open hatch. Sorry, you can't use the closed hatch like that. Okay, that's fine. Um, you could you could put in actions to catch those kinds of commands and give them give them custom messages, but I'm not really going to mess with that for now. Um, so I'm just going to get heater, get drill, get bacon, get lure, and then push button. Robotic digit extended, button depressed, crate door is ajar. So now if we look, now you can see that we've got the field to go to. The hatch button is still there, and now there's an open hatch instead of a closed hatch. Um, the only thing I wonder, though, and this is important to test this kind of stuff, is if we do CMD reset, yes, if we say push button, um, you can't use the hatch button like that. Um, you can, though, it's just we want you to get all this stuff first. So, um, and that's why it's being blocked is because we have required inventory items. So I am going to edit that um, view action one uh, required inventory IDs, CMD edit three. We want to leave that blank. Yes. So now um, you got all this stuff in here and you can open the door. You can do push button and it'll open the door and so now you can get out and go to the field you haven't yet picked up the stuff I think that's a little more that's a little cleaner more flexible to do things like that so I'm gonna actually grab this stuff though um, so now we can go field but let me grab this stuff first get heater get drill get bacon get lure Look. We can go to field system loaded designation clipper type AI probe manufacturer NASA and Tesla sensors activated autonomous you go to the field hatch button open hatch what if I push the button again yeah it just goes through that same action that's fine we can leave that in there um, you're just a robot doing what it's being told so now we can go field a frozen field of ice ice thickness measures at three meters okay so now we need to add a new W item. Um, so I'm going to write down, I haven't updated my written list here. We've got the closed hatch is W item one. Open hatch is W item two. Um, and so I'm going to add a ground as number three. So CMD add w item and it's going to be called ground um, the frozen ground measures three meters thick
density is in extreme range. Ground, do 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 do. So it's not hidden. So look. Ah, uh, I think I need to give it a different name than ground. You can't. The room name and item name should it should not overlap, or else you'll get weird behavior like this. Um, so I'm actually going to edit um, the room name. And the room name is going to be, uh, no, the, the room name doesn't conflict. Uh, hold on a second. Look, oh, we haven't attached the ground to this room yet. That's why CMD view room one, um, default world item CMD edit four so ground is going to be three yes so now if we look frozen field of ice ice thickness measures at three meters you see ground um, if you look at the ground now frozen ground measures three meters thick density is in extreme range um, I should probably put in something in there about its temperature as well to hint you to use the uh, the heater CMD view uh, W item three CMD edit three. And so unfortunately you have to retype this. The frozen ground measures three meters thick. Density is in extreme range. Temperature is negative, oh, is minus. 60 degrees centigrade. Yes. So now look, look ground. All right, so I'm going to add uh, heated ground as a W item. Heated ground. The nuclear heater has softened the ground to three. Actually, it's probably still a little bit frozen here, so um, two minus five degrees centigrade yeah I'm not I'm no scientist here I know that <laughs> zero is freezing so we'll keep it frozen so that you'll still use your laser drill but it had to be softened or else the laser drill would not work so nuclear heater has softened the ground to minus five degrees centigrade um, CMD edit two. call this ground as well yes so this isn't attached to a room yet because we're gonna swap it out when they use the uh, the nuclear heater and then I'm also going to add W item um, which is ice hole um, hole depth three meters liquid water detected below ice surface traces of thermal waves detected deep below surface. We're going to give it a different alias of hole. Not hidden, so this will get after you heat the ground, you get the heated ground, and then we'll swap the heated ground out for the hole when you use the laser drill. And then it's a matter of using the bacon with the lure to make a baited lure, and then putting using that with the hole, and then it'll be the end of the game. 
So you can see we're kind of picking up the pace here. So look, frozen fill device, ice thickness measures at three meters, you see ground. So now we're gonna add an action. So this action is going to be use, combine. I like to include combine in there when I use use. Um, heat, warm, since we're gonna be using the, the heater. Use, combine, heat, warm, uh, place the heater on the ground. Um, yeah, that's probably good. Um, nuclear heater placed on ground, ground temperature increased, ground density reduced. So required inventory items, of course, we're going to have to do our heater, which is number zero. So CMD edit three. You're going to need zero. So you got to have your nuclear heater. Um, required world items is going to be ground, which is number three. CMD edit four, um, three, which is the ground. So nuclear heater ground. And then direct object, um, we don't need to do those. We need to now use one of these other ones, which is um, with inv and world. So CMD edit nine. Um, so that's when you use something that you're holding with an object that's in the world. Um, current value is blank. So we wanna use zero with three. And that will activate this action. And so the result of this um, will be that we remove um, the ground item from the room. So CMD edit 16. So we're removing item three, yes. So that will remove ground from the room and we're gonna add a new item to the room, which is, I didn't, I didn't write this down, but heated ground is four and whole is five. So, um, so CMD edit 15, do four, yes. And now we've got heated ground will replace um, the ground in that room when this action is triggered. Um, and I think that's it for this. Um, so now we can look and we're carrying the heater. So look, so now if we say use heater on ground, nuclear heater placed on ground, ground temperature increased, ground density reduced. All right. So now if we look, there's heated ground. If we look ground now, nuclear heater has softened the ground to minus five degrees centigrade. All right, we're on a roll. So <clears throat> next thing, CMD add action adding another action. This will be the action that takes us from the um, heated ground to the hole using our laser drill. So um, use, combine, uh, cut, slice, <laughs> can't spell slice, slice, um, drill, laser, Laser. <laughs> That's good enough. Um, let's see. Laser drill activated. Cutting five, no, four. Cutting, let's just say one meter <laughs> diameter hole in ice liquid water revealed C 
So required inventory IDs is going to be the drill, which is one, CMD edit three, one, yes. Laser drill required world ID, CMD edit four, and the required world ID is the heated ground, which is number four, yes. So laser drill heated ground, uh, direct object don't need that, and then it's gonna be with, again, with inventory and world. So CMD edit nine. So inventory item is one, the world item is four, yes. And then again, we're going to um, remove, let's, let's do CMD edit 15, for, so we're gonna add uh, the hole, which is five, yes. And so the ice hole is there, CMD edit 16, what we're gonna remove from the room is the heated ground, which is four, yes. And so we add ice hole, we remove heated ground uh, when we do that. So now if we look, frozen field of ice, ice thickness measures at three meters, you see heated ground. So now if we use uh, drill on ground, laser drill activated, cutting one meter diameter hole in ice, liquid water revealed. So now if we look, frozen field of ice, ice thickness measure at three meters, you see ice hole. Look, hole. Hole depth three meters, liquid water detected below ice surface, traces of thermal waves detected deep below surface. All right, sweet. Our AI is, is working here. So the last thing we need to do, well, there's one more step. We need to get our baited lure. So if we, uh, we need to add an action, CMD add action. Um, so this action is going to be um, use combine uh, bait place um, put Uh, that should be good. Um, and then it's going to say bacon placed on lure, baited lure prepared for fishing maneuver. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds scientific, right? Did I spell maneuver right? I probably didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. All right, so required inventory IDs. So CMD edit three, we need two inventory IDs for this, we need two and three. So yes, uh, the lure and the bacon. Uh, no required world IDs, as long as you have those two items, you can combine them at any time, no matter where you are. Um, direct objects, don't need those. So with inv and inv, that's what we need. So CMD, edit, eight, and we're gonna do two and three. So with the lure and the bacon, um, what's gonna happen? So we need result, remove inventory items. So CMD, edit, 12. So we're actually gonna remove two and three and I don't think we've made the baited um, lure yet item. So CMD list items. Um, yeah, we need to add that. So CMD add item. And this is baited lure. Bacon on lure to attract na potential native life forms. So this one, so CMD list items, uh, it's number four. I'm gonna write that down. Baited lure is four. Okay, so now if I, um, yeah, I gotta do CMD view action three. Um, nope, so I'll push over on the keyboard. Uh, use combined bait, place, put. Yep, that's what we want. Um, and so 
with so result add inventory item CMD edit 11 we're going to add item 4 yes and so now when you uh, you'll get when you combine lure and bacon you'll lose lure and bacon but you'll get baited lure um, so now if we look frozen field you got the ice hole use bacon and lure bacon placed on lure baited lure prepared for fishing maneuver look and then in my inventory I've got the baited lure the laser drill and the nuclear heater so that all worked properly good job um, so now that we've got the baited lure in play in the game we can do our final action which is to place the baited lure into the ice hole so of course we're going to need to cmd add action um, put place dip fish uh, what else are people going to potentially say um, drop um, combine use yeah that's a good list um, and then here's where um, kind of the ending of the game basically is going to happen when this happens um, I wonder if I should move them to a new room as a result of this um, probably I should um, yeah I think I will so this will just be the um, lowering lure into ice hole increasing lure depth All right, so required inventory IDs, CMD edit three. We need uh, the baited lure, which is number four. Yes, so we got the baited lure. Required world IDs, uh, CMD edit four. Um, we need to have the hole, which is five. Ice hole, lowering lure into ice hole, increasing lure depth. Um, so that will drop that in there. Um, and then I think we're going to do with Inven World CMD edit 9. So Inv item is 4, World item is 5. Yes. So you're combining those two things with Inven World. And then the result is um, we're going to have to come back and edit this. I need to make a new room. CMD add room. This is going to be end room. Um, and this is all um, lure drag zero newtons waiting for lure drag lure drag 23.3 newtons. I looked this up. A newton of uh, force is like a quarter of a pound. And so um, 24, 16, 20, it, it'd be, he's starting to feel like maybe six pounds of pull on the line. Um, extending stabilizer spikes. Retrieving lure, lure drag, 599 newtons, and then system critical. And then I'm going to do um, the end.
by Nick based on an interview with interview with Neil deGrasse Titan. Uh, no, Neil deGrasse. What's, what is his name? Neil deGrasse. Well, I can't remember his last name all of a sudden. I'll look it up. <laughs> Tyson. There we go. Extending stabilizer spikes, retrieving lure, lure drag 599 newton, system critical, the end. Okay, so that's the ending. Um, boom. Um, so that is our new room. No items, nothing to look at in there. It's just the ending screen. So if we do CMD list rooms, uh, room number two is the end. So now we go back to that action. CMD view action four. It's actually action five. I just um, push the arrows over to go to action five. Um, ice hole. But, uh, so you put that in there and then it's going to go to result um, transport to room. So CMD edit 18 is going to force you to transport to this new room, which is going to be room number two. Yes. Now if we look, um, I think in my inventory, I've got the baited lure. Um, so use lure in hole. Hmm, I must not have put an alias, CMD view uh, item for baited lure, yeah. CMD edit two, give that a nickname, yes. And then I can do uh, use lure in hole. Lowering lure into ice hole, increasing lure depth. You can say, look, lure drag, zero newtons, waiting for lure drag. Lure drag, 23.3 newtons, extending stabilizer spikes, retrieving lure. Lure drag, 599 newtons, system critical, the end. <laughs> Game by Nick Pasto, based on an interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson. All right, so now we're there. We're stuck there. You can't go anywhere else. There's nothing linked to this room. There are no other rooms to go to, no stuff to look at, pick up, whatever. Um, all you can do is just look and get this final message. So that's the end of the game. Um, so now we can do CMD reset. Are you sure you don't re want to reset? Yes. So system load and designation clipper, type AI probe, manufacturer NASA and Tesla, sensors activated, autonomous algorithm engaged. Um, and so basically, let's just run through this, make sure everything works get heater, get drill, get bacon, get uh, lure, use bacon on lure, might as well do that now, uh, look, uh, push button, robotic digit extended button to press, create doors ajar, look, go field, field area, Frozen field of ice, ice thickness measures three meters. You see ground. Use heater on ground. Nuclear heater placed on ground. Ground temperature increased. Ground density reduced. Um, so one thing I do want to add here is if you try to use the, um, the drill on the frozen ground. Um, so CMD add action. This action will be use, combine, uh, set, put, heat. Um, drop, drill, laser. impossible frozen ground too dense for 
carbide and laser lasers in drill. Um, magic words none required inventory. So th this is an example of how you might um, put in some extra flavor into your game for when people try different things so it doesn't just give them the I don't understand. You can give them either hints or more detailed feedback on on why their action is not working. So required inventory CMD edit three is you got to have the drill which is number one. Yes and then required world ID is CMD edit Four, you gotta have the ground, the frozen ground, which is number three. Um, and that's it. So now uh, let's do CMD reset. Yes, CMD, oops, no, just uh, push button. So now we've got the door open. Let me get the drill. And then go field, um, use drill on ground. Action impossible, frozen ground too dense for carbide and lasers and drill. Okay, so that's good. That's pretty much all we need there. Um, so you'll you notice that I left behind my stuff. So go crate. Uh, we don't see a crate. So we need to put, definitely need to put that in. CMD view room one. Uh, doesn't have any attached rooms, that's the problem. CMD edit one. We need to attach room zero. Yes. So now we can go back to the crate. And now that we are back in the crate, we can pick up heater, get bacon, get lure, look, and then we can go field use heater on ground hmm doesn't like that oh interesting um, CMD view action um, I need to think about this for a second I'll be back alright I'm back and I know what the problem is so CMD view action um, oops gotta get my focus back five um, so we forgot to put in um, the with inv and world here so that's what's blocking us here so cmd edit uh, 9 so with inventory item um, drill which is 1 and world item 3 yes so look so um, we see the ground, so use drill on ground. Action impossible, use heater on ground. Nuclear heater placed on ground, ground temperature increased, ground density reduced. So now we've got the heated ground, use drill on ground. Laser drill activated, cutting one meter diameter hole in ice, liquid water revealed. Now we've got the hole, use lure in hole. Oops. Oh, I haven't combined the lure and bacon. Use lure with bacon. Use lure in hole. Look. And there's our ending. So I think that is pretty much it for the game. I do want to add in a couple little flavor things in here, um, like little data bank um, notes, um, just about uh, being on Europa, uh, let you know a little bit more about where you're at, um, like as if the computer that you're uh, controlling, the, the probe that you're controlling has like a little data bank where it can give you little quotes, and I'll add those in, but you don't really need to see that. You've pretty much seen everything you need to see to make your own game. I'm now going to walk you through how you can submit your game um, to me for review. So the first thing is to do CMD local save and then an ID slot. So I'm gonna save this in slot two. Actually, before we do that, CMD uh, help. Um, we need to give this a local name. 
So CMD local name, current game name, new game name goes here. Just type desired new name. So fishing on Europa. No, it's ice fishing on Europa. Ice fishing on Europa. And then you can do CMD um, author or credits. Let's do author. Uh, CMD, oh, local author. Current game credits, new game credits go here. Um, by Nick Pasto based on an interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Not that I interviewed him, but you know, I read an interview with him. Um, so now if you do CMD local info, it'll say game name ice fishing on Europa. Make sure you do this so that you know you get your credit for the game that you've made um, and that you submit. Um, and you can type, you know, you can type a whole novel here if you want, really. Um, so now that we have that, we can do CMD local save, and I'll save it in slot number two. Are you sure you want to save the current local game data into slot two? This will overwrite any existing data in the slot. Yes. So now there in slot two, we've got ice fishing on Europa. If we want to play it or if we want to edit it some more, um, you can always leave and come back. You can close this browser tab. Um, shut down your device, whatever, come back here and then do CMD um, local play to and then say yes and then here you go, here's the beginning of the game with everything all reset. So now I'll do CMD local list again and that shows us all the stuff that we have in our save slots. And so we're actually going to submit one of these save slots. So we so to do that we use a web command CMD web submit to which will submit this local game slot to to me for review so you hit that are you sure you want to submit local save slot to use game data for review and potential inclusion in the type help database of games type yes to confirm or no to cancel yes submitting game submitted thank thank you every game is reviewed and if we like it we'll include it for others to play good luck so boom there you go you've submitted the game that you just made so um the engine is fairly powerful um you saw I had a little bit of trouble even myself uh, getting stuff lined up right. Um, but I think if you're creative and you kind of think outside the box, you can you can um, work around any limitations you might run into and make pretty much whatever you want. Um, of course, there are some limitations um, within this framework, but it's pretty flexible, I think. And I'm excited to see what you guys make. Please send a game. Um, love to see what you come up with.